Hello YouTube, this is Gage from, I don't know what this channel is called, I forget, but, oh well, I'm just going to do a RC update of all my trucks, including my, my car -T. Um, this one I recently got, the Little C Triple X SCT, two-wheel drive short course truck, and I got it like two days ago, and the first day I had it, took it to a carpet track, and I loved it. I fell in love with it, especially this body, it's got like E3 spark plugs on it, and all that happy stuff. I don't know, I just, I'm digging this body. I love it. The only thing, just kind of flimsy. Oh well. And uh, this thing, the shocks on it are amazing. They're titanium nitride coated shafts, so there's barely any stiction when you move it up and down. And the bearings and the wheels are very good. Comes with a fully waterproof electronics, including the dynamite taser system. It's a four pole 30 300 kV motor which is which rips. It's amazing. I had to solder these connectors on along with the battery. Comes with a silver series speed pack 3000 milliamps 20C and yeah the one thing about this because I was just running it like five minutes ago this thing oh it runs a little bit too hot but I'll just get a cooling fan, no biggie. At least it's fully waterproof, you know. And these tires, compared to my CTE, because I still have the stock tires on right now, they're the same tread pattern, the Eclipse tires. I think they might have softened up the compound a little bit, so they wear like a lot quicker. Just looking at the treads on them. But yeah. Over on this truck, 330 bucks. You can't really complain. But oh well. Yeah, this thing. Look forward to a review on this. I'll be doing like running videos and upgrade videos and whatnot. And onto the SCTE. As you see, I got the ready to run, so the body was junk. Uh, this is a Proline F150 Raptor, not the Flowtech, the regular bot F150 Raptor. And this one got the snot beat out of it because the truck's so heavy. See, so it's got cracks right there and and right here from those stupid side guards for the mud flaps on the back. See, so it's got cracking. Oh, it's holding its own, that body. So as you can see, I cut those stupid things off. See, I'm going to have to cut them off to save that body because I like that body. And uh, this system is not stock, obviously. This junk is stock. It's essentially the Castle SC SCT Pro, the Mamba Max version. It's got the. It's basically a Mamba Max Pro ESC. They also just put their own stickers on it. Cheap bastards. Um, and for anyone that that's about, this used to be mounted right here. So when the battery came back, it got caught in the wheel and ripped it right off. So that's no good. And this motor just blows. In that ESC, all it does is shut off the whole time. So I got rid of it. And got a Castle Sidewinder SCT system. Not the Mama Max Pro, just a Sidewinder. And this truck isn't the best for this this one because it's it's just so heavy. And you see, I got all my wiring good, nice and. And this receiver box is stupid. You have to like I had to drill a hole right here to get this. The fan wire in for the ESC. Then I got my wires all. And I am running the stock servo because it's good. The only thing wrong with it is this servo arm. It like moves back and forth and it's tightened all the way down. There's something wrong with the servo. And I bought hold on, this associated servo. And it just makes the whole system glitch out. So I gotta get a glitch buster. From the racer's edge or whatever but yeah the system it just runs pretty hot and it, you can't really go fast with it because you have to run small pinion gear because that's what the gearing chart says i'm running a 12 tooth i guess i could jump up to a 13 because that's what it says and i could also buy the mip spur gear in the, for the center it's like a 41 tooth that's a 40 in there now and what i've done to this so i have rpm arms all around i'm running the little c hard springs and 27 and a half weight shock oil and for my tires this is my truck stand 
In the rears, I'm running caliber 2.0s, short course. They're just wider and they're just a lot better. In the soft compound, the green compound from Pearl Line. In the front, I'm running sniper SCs in the yellow compound, the medium compound. And that setup works pretty good. I'm probably going to do the same caliber in the rear. And I'm going to run uh, J Concept slicers up front with new rims, I guess. And for my batteries, I have a, this one that came with the triple X. I have a Speed Pack Gold Series 30C. I have a CRC. And I have an Onyx. I just like to experiment which batteries, which ones I like, which ones I'll buy again. And most likely I'm going to go with the CRC because they're cheap and they're good. And the uh, the radio system that the Triple X comes with is cool. I like it. It's black. It's just comfortable. It's nice. An SCTE. It's a good radio system. Four, three channel. This one's a two channel. I still only got the bind and the throttle and the steering. Oh well, it's waterproof at least. And then onto the micro T. This thing is not at all stock. I got aluminum A arms in the rear and I got the aluminum pivot block in there because I don't know because I my cat knocked it down the stairs and made it blow apart that pivot block just incinerated itself when it flew down the stairs and yeah I have a all aluminum in there flew down the stairs again broke all that in there so that's all aluminum in there got the bearings threaded axles all around Got hardened steel dog bones. And I'm not running a lipo. This antenna got shredded by what? I don't know. I just threw heat shrink over it. Just to rig it, I guess. RPM. I love RPM. But yeah, um, this is my trucks. This is what I'm going to be racing next, se next season for two wheel drive and four wheel drive short course. I have yet to get my tires, but. Oh well. In this body, the stock body, like I said with those stupid side things right there, it like blew this apart. Right here, so it's cracked. Yeah, this body's done. I didn't like it anyway, so that's why I got that pro line body. And there's just all my, my micro T radio. My mini 8, my 8 mini is out in my shed. I just moved all my stuff inside tonight because it's starting to get cold out, so. I just move all my stuff inside for the winter. Alright, well, thanks for watching. See ya.